Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can publish Power BI report to SharePoint. So basically, we will see how we can publish the Power BI report from Power BI desktop to Power BI service and then from there how we can use it in our SharePoint online modern pages. Now, before going to this video, if you are new to Power BI or uh, you can check out my previous videos, I will add in the comment uh, in the video description. In fact, so check out those videos there I have explained what is Power BI, how we can create the report. So in the last video, we saw how we can create the report. So I'll put all these links you can have a go through and uh, before going to these videos also. Now, what we will do here is I will open my uh, Power BI uh, desktop file, so which is the last uh, one that we have created, and then we will see how we can uh, uh, publish that report. So, if I will go here, this is the file that we have created. So, I just double click on that, and it will open the file in Power BI desktop. So, once it will uh, open, then we will uh, publish it. So, you can see here our report is open now on Power BI desktop. So if you have not saved it, let's say you are creating the first time at the beginning, then it will ask you to save it first. So once you save it, then you can publish it. So if you'll see here, go to the home tab and you can see here last one is the publish. So uh, this report will be uh, published to Power BI service. So if you want to share or if you want to use it in your SharePoint online set or anywhere, then you have to make sure that you have uh, uh, saved it. And from desktop, you cannot directly do this thing. So you have to publish it first to Power BI service. And from there, you can use it. So either you can click here directly or you can go to file and then you can see here there is a publish option. So both the options are there. So you can click on this and you can see here it is saying publish to Power BI. So click on that and then it it is asking us uh, the uh, destination, the workspace, and uh, then click on select. So once you click on select, now it will uh, take some time and it will publish it and you will get a notification on that, that the Power BI is uh, published. So you can see here, it is showing that you can open this uh, report directly by clicking over here, or you can go to app.powerbi.com and then you can access the report from there. So I'll just click over here and you can see here it is opening so our power bi uh, report will open now so you can see here it's just taking some time to load it so here it is so this is our report you can see here and uh, here you can see filter is there if you want to filter that and uh, this report which we can use it in our sharepoint online modern site so if you'll see here there is a file and then there is embed option is there there is embed in sharepoint link also option is there both the things we can use uh, uh, here now what i'll do is so once this report is available on the power bi service so i'll go to my sharepoint online site you can see it here so what we'll do is we'll create a modern sharepoint page here so i'll go to new and then new site page you can see here new page so it will actually create a page so here you can just select a uh, uh, layout from it and i will click on create so once you click on create so you can see here it is asking me name about the page so i'll say power bi report and uh, then you can uh, see here we can add oh, let me just delete it so you can just click on this uh, plus icon then there is a power bi uh, if you'll search for power bi you will get a power bi uh, web part here so which we can use to display uh, a power bi report so once you add it so you can see here if you click on add a report or you can click on edit you will come up to this place so what it is saying is it is asking us to provide a url or a link so i will go now back to our power bi report i will click on file and then click on embed once you click on embed so you have two options so one thing is you, will, you are getting one url here you can see here this is the url you are getting the other one is the uh, iframe code which you can use uh, that also you can use but here in this power bi web part i will just select it and i will paste it here so i'll click on enter so if you'll see here now the uh, uh, the report will be you can see here now it will show the report 
here it is our report is in now in SharePoint online page so if you want to give you can see here there is a new page name properly the page name ratio if you want to show the navigation pane you can show this if you want to show the filter pane you can own it so the filter pane will also be available on this power bi report so you now you can just uh, click on publish so once you click on publish your page is ready you can see here this is the page and you can uh, share this page with other users so that they can see the report or any user let's say it's your home page of your site so anyone can come here they can visit it and they can see the report so this is how we can publish uh, this report uh, to SharePoint and if you like our video subscribe to our YouTube channel you will get a lot of free videos on SharePoint uh, Office 365, SPFX, Power BI, Power Apps so all these uh, uh, these technologies videos you will get it all Microsoft related technologies these are uh, SharePoint uh, Skype uh, this my engine SharePoint uh, this my personal uh, Twitter handle so you can check these things and these are LinkedIn, Facebook and uh, uh, these pages so do like us comment and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you and have a nice day